Whenever your Verilog compiler encounters a delay statement in your code, it does two things. The first thing it does is it takes the magnitude of the delay statement and multiplies it by the first argument to the timescale directive. In this case, the first argument is 10 nanoseconds, and the magnitude of the delay statement is 1.5. So the compiler will multiply those together and get 15 nanoseconds. That's the first of the two steps the compiler does anytime it encounters a delay statement. The second thing it does is it takes this result and rounds it to the nearest increment of the second argument to the timescale directive. The second argument is 10 nanoseconds. And the compiler is going to round 15 nanoseconds to the closest integer multiple of 10 nanoseconds. And integer multiples of 10 nanoseconds are 0 nanoseconds, 10 nanoseconds, 20 nanoseconds, and so on, 30, 40, 50 nanoseconds. The closest one of those to 15 nanoseconds is... 20 nanoseconds. So the compiler is going to round 15 nanoseconds up to 20 nanoseconds. And it's going to use 20 nanoseconds as the actual delay time here. So this becomes delay for 20 nanoseconds. 